What is good, everyone? My name is Orlando, and welcome to week four of Friday Night Flights. We start in the Metro League, the Mountainside Mavericks looking for their third win of the season. To get it, they need a victory over a Jesuit team they've never beaten. And this game lived up to the hype. Let's go. Fourth quarter, game tied at seven. Tyree Blake following the blocking. Patience paying off here. Jesuit up by seven. But the Mavericks answer back. Brian Mannion. Ooh, we the strike. Andrew Simpson getting loose, and the game is tied again. So guess what? We need overtime. And Michael Rincon would shine. Where did the man go? Gets lost in traffic, but uh oh. There he is, comes out on the other side. 24 yards, a score, and a 21-14 win in overtime for the Crusaders. Down the road, we go to Beaverton. The winless Beavers looking for the upset over a red-hot sunset. And the visiting Apollos come out firing on all cylinders. Caleb Kim hitting the juke button. He's just a junior, so get used to hearing that name, folks. Beaverton strikes back. And we're going with a bomb. Jay Cooter connects with Christian Gonzalez. But Sunset wasn't going to be stopped. Kyle Jekyll, the play fake, works to perfection. Ha! Takes it himself. Sunset wins big, 63-31. They play in hoops. Southridge visiting Aloha. Warriors cheerleaders providing the energy. Aloha jumped out to a big lead in the first half, and Logan Moore gets the pitch from Tanner Volk. 24 yards for the score. That put the Warriors up by two TDs. Aloha holds on to get the W, 19 to 14. High stakes rivalry in the Three Rivers League. Westland looking like one of the best teams in the region, hosting Lake Oswego. The Lakers have won the last three meetings. Sky 8 providing the views above West Lynn. Families making it out to the game. First quarter, Lions going to work, and you know the name, Gavin Haynes, a regular on the show. The Oregon State commit giving the Lions a 14-0 lead. Coach Miller going to appreciate the execution of this. Blake to Bishop to Kanan Huffman. Beautiful screen, so pretty. We hit you with two angles. West Lynn improves to 4-0 on the season. 42-7, your final. Over the Willamette River, we go to Pioneer Stadium. Tualatin visiting Oregon City. First quarter, Tualatin up by seven and going for more. Jackson Jones, nice throw, finds Peter Burke. Both guys are juniors, folks. They're going to be dangerous in the fall. Tualatin runs away with it, 43-13. Sky 8 over Tigard and Lake Ridge. Lake Ridge jumped out early, so Tigard getting creative with it. Faked us all out on that one. Carson Boschma picks up 18 yards on the play, and that set up Hewitt Sullivan. And you know he can turn the corner, but it would not be enough. Lakeridge takes out Tualatin 34-17 at home. We got more Friday Night Flights. The Newburgh Tigers have looked dominant in their 3-0 start, hosting McMinnville in week number four. The TV f &R crew checking out the game. They need a fire hose to cool off Newberg's offense. Levi Durrell, Owen Holly, highlight machines. A few minutes later, Price Posier gets in on the fun. He's into the house. McMinnville had a few moments. Matthew Washburn, beautiful throw. Braden Woods, beautiful catch. Newberg continues its tear, though, winning 56 to 9. Our next stop. Up the road at Sherwood, a cap is so new, it's not even on our map yet. We're working on it, folks. The Bowman hosting Glencoe. Good thing I wasn't on the cheerleading team. They're better spellers than me. Trust. The Bowman liking their new home. Carson Stanback arrows through the defense. See what I did there? Producer Craig, are you laughing right now? 34-3 at the point. Glencoe playing for a little pride. Jackson kind, he wouldn't go down. Bud Sherwood gets it done at home. 34-10, your final. Like the Newburgh Tigers, the Century Jaguars are undefeated so far in 2021. The Jags visiting Liberty. The Liberty cheerleaders trying to get the Falcons fired up for this one. And we've got a big surprise on our hands. Century driving for the go-ahead score. And uh-oh, ball stripped. And there's Liberty's Ethan Jones. He gone. 84 yards for the score. 
Liberty Shock Century 32-28. Falcons get the first win of the year. Whoa. To get more games in, the Greater St. Helens League played on a Tuesday this week with more games coming Saturday night. We got a crazy finish between Skyview and Camus. This game happened on Tuesday. Final minute, Skyview up by three, fourth down, Jake Blair buying all kinds of time and Andrew Caruso comes down with it. Sets up a field goal to tie it up. They force overtime and here we go again. Blair to the end zone, Bryce Dewey, my goodness. Camus hands Skyview its first loss, 38-31, what a game. Thanks to the folks at Clark County today for the video. We just scratched the surface. They break down this crazy game in full. We've got a link in our story at KGW.com. Down in Salem, West Salem Titans hold off McNary 28-20, and North Salem beat South Salem 41-30. Congrats to the Vikings on winning the Mayor's Cup.